In this video, we're going to talk about multiplying two binomials together. My favorite way to think about it is what I call the double distribution method. Uh, for this method, I'm essentially just going to focus on the first term in the first parentheses and kind of block out that second term. Then that first term is going to distribute to both of those next terms. And then from there, what I'm going to do is just go ahead and think about what that distribution means. So x times x, that would be x squared. x times negative 3 is negative 3x. Okay, now I'm going to uncover that term that I was covering and cover the first term now. And notice that I'm going to keep the sign too. If it's positive, it doesn't really matter, but if it was negative, then it would definitely matter. So that's why I'm just going to keep it uh, showing there. Okay, let's go ahead and distribute that next term now. So now I have a positive 2 times x. Well, that's going to be a positive 2x. Here I have a positive 2 times a negative 3, which is a negative 6. And then from here, my last step is just to look for like terms. So here, that has an x after it, and that has an x after it. So I'm going to go ahead and put those together. So that's a negative 3 and a positive 2, uh, which comes out to just a negative 1x. And then I still have my x squared hanging out from right there. And I still have my negative 6 hanging out from right there. And I'm done. That's it. One more thing that I want to point out here is a mistake that's commonly made. Uh, so often when students are focusing on that uh, first term to distribute to the next parentheses, and when they think of the x times the x, Sometimes I will see students do this. They will think that x times x is 2x, which is not correct. So the x times x is x squared. It's not, if it was x plus x, then it would be 2x. But that's not what it's saying here. It's saying x times x. So make sure that when you do that, you get to the x squared.